may have heard in our promo that nerds rule the world. Well, they do. It's not just annoying chant said over and over. It is something that is implausibly true in this era where we have this increased focus on technology, on video games, on certain forms of nerd entertainment, and also on science. So someone with an a huge passion and ability and intelligence to make things happen, do make things happen, and we want to throw a little bit of a highlight their way in a very formal manner with a graphic and everything uh, because it's this is deserved and this is something that we should definitely be looking at and throwing positive attention toward. So this week's Nerd of the Week is two people because why not break the formula as soon as you put it out? Uh, I am talking about <laughs> UCI chemistry professor Ken Shea and doctoral student Jeffrey O'Brien. They co-authored a some research that was recently published in the Journal of American Chemical Society. Did you know that snake bite antidotes are currently made by injecting a horse with venom, waiting for weeks for uh, the animals to develop antibodies, and then extracting that blood from places in Mexico and Australia to parts of the world that can't afford it? I say can afford because it can cost up to one hundred thousand dollars for the existing treatment of slow intravenous infusion at a hospital, and also these venom antibodies are very specific to certain breeds of snake, certain kinds of snake. So if you do the wrong one, you might be in trouble. You might die painfully. So this is a serious problem because people all over the world are getting bit by snakes and aren't necessarily looking at the snakes or keeping the snakes long enough to identify the specific kind of snake it is. So this research um, was made to help uh, the military pl platoons in the tropics and sub-Saharan Africa in particular, but it does look like it can help people the world over because one, um, the research that these two researchers have put together are, uh, it will cover many kinds of snakes and it will also be cheaper. And it also looks at venom and treating venom in a different way than we have before, i.e. horse blood. According to Jeffrey O'Brien, current anti-venom is very specific to certain snake types. Ours seems to show broad spectrum ability to stop cell destruction across species on many continents and that is quite a big deal. The two of them synthesized a polymer nanogel material that binds to several key protein toxins. Um, what happens when the venom is introduced to blood is that it uh, bursts cell membranes, causing massive cell destruction, ruptured blood cells. Um, it hurts a lot. It's very scary, and it is potentially deadly. So, with their uh, nanogel material, the Venom is absorbed into the nanoparticles in the new material and is permanently sequestered there, kind of like a sponge that only seeks out the deadly venom. And um, this is amazing. It has a long shelf life and it costs far less than $100,000 per treatment. And it could actually change the world. And I love that it is a combination of uh, science and technology and is able to do some real damn good. So you two, Ken Shea and Jeffrey O'Brien, are the inaugural Nerd of the Week. However, I should say nerds, because there's two of you. Sorry, I broke the system. However, if you have someone you would like to nominate for Nerd of the Week next week, please leave them below in the comments. You can also tweet at me if I don't see it. And please like and subscribe for more.